Okay, so I've printed out my run sheet, I've printed out the design, so you get two pages. This shows you an enlarged version of the design and it tells you the size, the stitch count and how many colours it has in it. And then this printout is the design, um, the correct size. So this is the actual size it's going to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it out and place it onto my robe so I can just see if I'm happy with the size and the positioning and then I can mark the positioning on the robe because I'll need that when I come to stitch it out so I know I'm getting it in the right place. So we'll just cut this out. And here's my robe. So I'm just gonna pop it on. Just, I think that looks gonna look like a good size. Don't want it too big, but you want it so, you know, people can see it. So once you've got it on, then you can just get your water soluble marker and just mark the end corners. Now I'm marking these two corners because I'm gonna stitch it out on the marvelous new 590, which is um, one of, Benina's new 5 series machines and this one of machine has pinpoint placement which means even if I hoop the design up my, my bathroom up slightly wonkily I can correct it using pinpoint placement and it will stitch out straight so that's great and that's a real lifesaver but I do still need some reference points to know where, where it's going to go. So the next stage is I'm going to hoop my robe up. Now in terms of stabiliser I'm just going to use some stitch and tear behind and I'm going to use this which is a water soluble sticky stabiliser on top. That's just to stop any of these fibres poking through um, and it just uh, flattens it all down so you get a nice even stitch out so that's going to go on top. So I'm going to hoop that up and then we'll be ready to go over to the machine. Great, so now we're going to thread up our fabulous 590. So this is the top of the new 5 series range and it's got this lovely long arm um, and it's eight and a half inches to the right of the needle. So lots of space for to get your embroidery hoops in or your quilting projects underneath. Um, and uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thread up. Now, one of the things I love, love about these new machines is their accessories boxes. So the accessory boxes, they're these lovely big boxes and they clip on to the back of the machine. So when you want to pack your machine away, it's nice and tidy and it just fits at the back. So that's really great. Um, because we're gonna do some embroidery, I'm just gonna take out my embroidery foot, 26 pop that away and you've got loads of room to hang all your feet put your bobbins in and all your accessories and I like the way it's nice it's clear at the front so you can always see what you've got in there so I'll just put that out the way uh, and I'm just going to change my foot so I'm going to take this my 1D off and I'm going to put my embroidery foot on now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to thread up so I'm going to put my thread onto my machine and I can just put my cotton reel holder on and just butt that up again so that's nice and firm. And we want it to unravel clockwise so it's coming off the reel clockwise. When I'm threading up I need to always make sure that my presser foot is raised. Uh, on, these, um, on this model we've got really nice clear guidelines and markings that show you exactly where to go. So we've got point one, two and three and back up to four. So I'm going to go round to the back, down and round, up into the take up lever here and through my large needle bar and then small needle bar. Now another great new feature on the 590 is the needle threader. So when I go to thread my needle I pull the lever down and it automatically lowers my foot and gets my needle in exactly the right position. I then go under and pull down. Now the new bit is this little guide and cutter here so then I can pull that that cuts my thread it holds it in position and then all I need to do is lift my finger up and that's it threaded and it's brilliant really easy and quick to use so that's my top thread threaded the other great thing about these machines is they have the extra large bobbins so these large bobbins hold 70% more thread 
than a standard bobbin. So this is brilliant when you're embroidering, you don't have to keep stopping and changing your bottom thread or if you're quilting, it makes a huge difference to have these lovely big bobbins. Now bobbin goes into the bobbin case, it only goes in one way so you can't make any mistakes and then it's simple as just pinging that thread into place. Then I can open my door and just pop it in and trim. There's a handy little cutter there and close the door. So that's my machine threaded, really simple and easy. The next thing we're going to do, because we're going to do some embroidery, we're embroidering our, um, our bathrobe, is we're going to attach the brilliant new unit. So this is the new unit here. It looks quite different from ones we've had in the past. It has this great arm here. And because, um, uh, because of the design of it, you can use um, all your hoops with the free arm if you wanted to, whereas in the past you would need an adapter. Um, to attach it, it's got these locking pins, and all I do is just simply slide it into place, and that's it attached really nice and easy. There's no cable that we've had before, it just slides in. And I'm not sure if you can see, but it has this really nifty handle here, so I can just pick it up and carry it around if I wanted to. That's another nice feature. Okay, so we're all threaded up and ready to go. Um, I don't need to do any different threading for embroidery than I would do for normal sewing. So now I'm ready, I'm just gonna go and get my bathrobe and bring that over and get my design and load that on. So I've got my USB key with my design on from Toolbox. I'm just gonna plug that in. I've got my embroidery unit attached. Now I'm gonna go into Home and into Embroidery. And it's telling me to drop my feed dogs. So these are the built-in uh, designs in the, in the folders that come on the machine, but we want to take our design off the USB stick. So I can tap on the USB stick there using my stylus. Now, a new feature on the 790 is when, I'm, um, when I view the designs on my USB stick, I can now see the names, which is really useful because uh, I've got two versions of the same design on this USB stick, and if I wasn't sure which was which, I might choose the wrong one. But I want to choose um, Mono 1, so I can tap on that, and that's gonna bring that up. Uh, and so now I need to confirm that I've got the correct foot on, so I can go into the foot and say, yes, I've got foot 26 on. And I need to tell it I've got the correct stitch plate on. I have changed my stitch plate and I've got my straight stitch plate on. So I can tap on that, so I can confirm that. And then in a minute I can proceed um, to my stitch out. So the next stage is going to be to put um, the hoop onto the machine and then I can go in and um, use the pinpoint placement to line things up. So I've got my design on the screen and now I'm going to go into pinpoint placement. So I can go into information and select pinpoint. And we're going to select the grid at the top here and we're just going to choose the far left middle point. And then all we need to do is just line it up with the marker we made when we um, put our template on our dressing gown. So I'm just gonna, just going to lower my needle. Yeah, that's pretty good, but I'm just gonna move it up slightly. Tiny bit more, great. So once you're happy with it, you're happy with the placement, then you press set. And then you can move over to your other marker. So we're gonna go to the one on the other side. And we're just gonna see now, because I didn't hoop up straight, that uh, needs to go down a little bit. So, turn it the right way. Just gonna move that down. Tiny little bit. And when I'm happy with that, then again, I press set. And then we can come out of that. Okay, so we're all lined up and we can um, start to sew. So I'm gonna go into my stitch out screen, which is the picture of the needle here. So I'm gonna tap down there. And the first um, section it's going to do is the actual monogramming in the middle. So uh, I think I'm happy with all of that. So what I can do is I can lower my, lower my foot and I just need to make sure that the rest of the gown is properly supported and it's not gonna catch anywhere and then I can press the green button and we can start to sew.
this point it's trimmed my jump stitch and the needle moved to the back of the hoop and forward again. Now when it was doing that, that was the thread away mode. That allowed the threads to be pulled to the back so you don't get any threads on the top. So I'm just going to change the thread and stitch out the gold in the design. I'm just going to put the black back on to finish off the final section. Great, so that's my stylish monogram finished. Um, and all I need to do now is take the hoop off and remove any of, uh, any of the extra stabilizer that I don't want. And then our bathrobe's complete. So if you get to do this project at home, I hope your sweetheart uh, likes their bathrobe. And uh, the 590 models uh, and the new 5 series are available. You just need to go and ask your dealer if you'd like to have um, more information on them.